Saturday Night Live opened with a parody of Kanye West and Donald Trump's Oval Office meeting in which the president realizes that the rapper is a black version of himself. Alec Baldwin delivered another spot on Trump impression opposite Chris Redd as an unhinged West, who made back-to-back -back nonsensical statements about conspiracy theories and his beloved MAGA hat. Recognizing that they wouldn't be able to top West's 10 minutes rant, the writers chose to annotate the meeting with Trump's inner monologue. He doesn't listen to anybody but himself. Who does he remind me of? Baldwin's Trump ponders as West chatters away. Just after West says, I've got a big brain, and I use the best words, Trump realizes, oh my god, he's the black me. Providing the voice of reason was football player Jim Brown, portrayed by Kenan Thompson, who wears a look of confusion and horror as he witnesses the exchange between the two stable geniuses. Unlike the actual Trump West meeting, which lasted 21 minutes, SNL's cold open lasted just long enough to take some sharp shots without dragging along. Trump kicks off the meeting by saying, These two are great dear friends of mine, a couple of real Chicago types, if you know what I mean. And thank you, Kenny, for giving me a pair of sneakers, which are perfect for me, because they are white and wide, and never going to be worth as much as you say they are. We have amazing lunch to get to. But first I'm sure that Kenny wants to make a few brief lucid remarks. The camera switches to Red's West, who is wearing a Make America Great Again hat just as the real deal was on Thursday. First, let me begin with the idea that time is the myth of infinite amounts of universe and I'm a prisoner in different dimension. Have I lost anyone so far, he says. Okay. So we'll talk about trap doors. Like the 13th Amendment is a trap door. And if you are installing a floor, aka the Constitution, why would you build a trap door? When you can end up with the unitemer. Midway into the rant Trump draws the parallels between the rapper and himself and appears to be rather alarmed by the similarities. Dot meanwhile, Brown thinks to himself, oh, my lord, what have I gotten myself into? I played football with a leather helmet. And my brain is still working better than his. The camera cuts back to West, who says, when I put this hat on, this hat is like Superman's hat. Both Brown and Trump respond offer their inner thoughts on the comment, the former thinking, Superman didn't have a hat, you idiot, and the latter, can someone be tripolar? West continues, and another thing to think about is the fact that Hillary Clinton is actually not a man. Trump thinks to himself, wow, that was a curveball. This could be good for me. This guy makes Brett Kavanaugh look calm and collected. Wait, no, it can't be that good. The reporter from CNN is way too happy, he says as the camera cuts to a pleased correspondent played by Pete Davidson. West then offers to show Trump a photo of an airplane on his phone, which ends up being invisible. That's fantastic, Trump says out loud, while his inner voice says, maybe we should order your lunch from a pharmacy. The phone bit tees up a joke about West's 0000000 iPhone passcode which he was seen typing during the actual meeting as Trump remarks that it's quite similar to his own 80,085 Aka boobs. Baldwin also made a subtle swipe at himself when he referenced a controversial interview in which he claimed that black people love him ever since he started doing the Trump impression. Let's remember the big lesson today that black people love me. They love me way more than they love Alec Baldwin, Trump says to himself. Dot West's rant finally comes to an end as he says, so in conclusion, 13th Amendment, trap doors lead to the unitemer, male energy, Trump is my dad, Hillary Clinton is a woman, and the media needs to start making this president look good. When Trump asks if Brown has anything to add, he says, add. I got a couple subtractions I'd like to submit. West then stands up and walks around behind Trump's desk, saying, and now it's time for me to hug my new dad. Come on in here, dad, bring it in. Their embrace mimics the one between the two real characters on Thursday, except that in the SNL version Trump says to himself, don't check to see if your wallet is there still there. Don't check, as he does, in fact, check. Kenny says, I want everyone to know I love this man. Trump replies, I love you, Kenny. We have a lot more in common than people know. We are both geniuses and both married to beautiful woman and both recorded saying the N-word. After Baldwin and Red delivered the iconic line, live from New York at Saturday night, the camera split to host Seth Meyers on the main stage. The late-night host's highly anticipated return to his old stomping ground comes four years after he signed off of 13 years writing and performing on the show. 
This week's musical guest Paul Simon is also a familiar face on the SNL stage, having hosted the show four times and performed another eight.